Hello friends, I am Oom and wait, this reflection doesn't look good for today. So I believe we should remove it. So hello friends, I am Oom and today we are diving the fantastic world of Linux again. And today I am going to talk about why you should go for creating a Linux distribution from scratch according to your hardware instead of going for those flashy and popular ones. Now you might be wondering why should we? And in my opinion there are plenty of reasons to do so. Well the most important one is you can customize the Linux distributions from the kernel core level according to your hardware. Just imagine having an Apple like hardware and software sync. MacBooks are so fast with better battery life and performance than Windows laptop for just one reason. Their amazing hardware and software sync. The whole operating system is designed just for that kind of hardware. That's the reason they are the best. Now imagine that on your Linux machine. Well, that will be game changing and not to forget time consuming. Well, now the reality of creating distribution from scratch is that you must have the knowledge of specific drivers and codecs and especially your own hardware unless you're gonna run into really bad problems. And this video is definitely not a tutorial. It's about whether you should and should not go for creating a distribution from scratch. Now you see, let's start with those who have a little experience with Linux and know what to do and how to do in Linux. Now for those who have Nvidia drivers or Nvidia GPU or AMD's dedicated GPU and require a few drivers which are not included in Linux kernel, for them I believe going for a distribution made from scratch is better than going for Ubuntu or Fedora. Just take me for example, I recently tried Arch Linux with GNU 47 and you know how it is installed on Arch Linux. It is installed from scratch. We choose all the components by hand and I believe that's the best way you should be installing Linux on your PC. And the same applies for Debian with almost same installation process and this also I believe Another thing like Fedora's spin of edition or Fedora everything ISO which allows you to tailor your experience of Linux with hand-picked component which will make your PC run smoothly. But yes, I will admit there were a lot of hassles and problems in the way but in the end the result was so satisfying. Arch Linux is running smoothly with Nvidia GPU for powerful applications as well as my integrated GPU for normal day-to-day -day tasks while using Wayland. Now that is a dope combination for a Linux user. But that required a hell lot of searching, going to forums, searching for commands, drivers and all of that. But yes, in the end I am satisfied with the you know, result. And in my opinion the installation process was not that bad. I just had to install the ISO, boot it into a USB then plug into my computer, go to the boot menu, boot it from the USB and then all I had to do was type arch install and it gave me a pretty nice installation setup in which I chose every component of the Linux distribution by myself. I handpicked the Linux kernel according to my preference. I chose which you know, desktop environments I wanted to install, which versions and which sort of file system I needed with, for you know my use case as well as a lot of other important stuff and in the end I got a pretty nice distribution which was really clean, de-bloated. It was like stock Android of Linux. But then the real deal was to install all the drivers and codecs. At first I just ran through the usual update command and that pretty much installed all the necessary stuff. But then there was one thing missing, the Nvidia GPU drivers for which I had to search for forums. Well, I did got my hands into the open source variant, which wasn't that good. So I could, you know, went for the proprietary one and it worked pretty fine. And as you notice Linux, I was able to manage through a hybrid graphic system in which the desktop would use integrated GPU while the performance intensive task will be run by GPU, my dedicated one while giving me the best battery life performance along with the best performance of my GPU. You see this combination is so rare that most of the Windows laptop failed to deliver it but Linux was able to do so. 
while ignoring the fact that I had to spend almost a whole night configuring the system. So yes, if you have that amount of time, then I definitely recommend you to go for it. But wait, there's one catch. You must have a backup of your system. Like if you're a Windows user, you should first try it on, you know, a pen drive or another external hard disk or SSD. Unless you want to accidentally delete your whole Windows partition. And luckily, I had one of those high speed type C pen drives. So, yep, it was pretty good for me. I first tried it on my pen drive and it worked pretty well. So, I then installed it on dual boot with my Windows machine. And then recently, I thought, let's just go all in into Linux. And that's when I created that video where I just shifted all my things into Linux. And the experience till then was pretty good because the reality is, I was not using my PC for as usual as I did because, you know, all the examinations of class 12 going on. And that is why I'm very inconsistent these days. Well, I believe you all understand how it is during examinations and studies, sports, all that stuff. But in the end, I believe everything's worth it. Now we should talk about who should not use this particular method of using Linux or installing Linux. <coughs> Sorry. Well, the first and obvious one, if you are a Linux beginner who's new to Linux and you don't know much about drivers, codecs, and especially your own internal hardware and GPUs and which drivers suits it, then I believe you should go with Linux Mint, Ubuntu, or Fedora. They all have great options to kickstart your Linux journey. And once you get enough with, you know, all that hassling, distro hopping and all that stuff, then you can try Debian or Arch in their purest form. Definitely not the official ones. I was talking about Endeavor OS or Debian based distributions. Or you can even go with Fedora. What was its name? Like Fedora's Everything or Everyone ISO. All, you know, there's a spin off version which allows you to tailor your Fedora desktop according to your preference. You should try that first. And then after all that, when you believe that you are ready to take the risk of accidentally deleting your whole SSD or HD, then only you should try it on, you know, an external disk storage. And when you're good to go, then, you know, you can do all that stuff. Well, the second sort of people I will never recommend that method is professional users. Now, yes, I did say that you get amazing battery life along with amazing performance, but the ground reality is you're definitely gonna go into major issues sooner or later. When a new version of driver appears or the whole distribution updates and if you don't want to spend a lot um you know a big amount of your productive work time into just configuring your system and dealing and troubleshooting all the errors and issues if you don't want to do all that stuff and just gonna boot and get into work mode then i recommend you to go for ubuntu or fedora or all the other popular and flashy distributions which provide you seamless experience. Well, the work seamless and Linux was never in the same room. But still, there's hope. And as long as we all hope, this channel exists. Or else, I'll just shift to another sort of content. And yes, I was thinking about creating a gaming channel. Now that is indeed a bold move, but it's good for chilling out on weekends and all that stuff. That is why. I believe I should give it a try and there's a quote I heard from somewhere that the best time to start something new is right now. And that is why I believe I did create it something. Well, the link is in the description if you're interested about that genre of content. But just know that I will never be consistent on that thing. You can expect weekly content but all in all this is the main channel and my main experience lives in this community the linux community i've built so far and i believe that the linux community on this channel can go even higher and that is why and i believe this is the end of the video isn't it oh <sighs> well then i believe that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for not consistent but genuine linux content uploaded on this channel inconsistently and i'll meet you next video till then I'm signing out. Well then, let me finally put on these glasses. Well then, I'm signing out.